Hi there. Thank you for tuning in for another hard seltzer review. Going there today, going to continue with the Crook and Marker. This is the second Crook and Marker uh, flavor that we were doing. We've done the Tangerine uh, so far. That was a couple days ago. Um, with this one here, we're going to go with Grapefruit, a flavor that I like traditionally. Uh, do expect some tartness from this usually with the grapefruit flavors, regardless of the brand. Uh, that's it's one of my favorite flavors. Uh, so expecting expecting good things here. Uh, just like the other ones, these are a little non-traditional in the sense that they are uh, less calories but also less ABV. They're 80 calories, 4% ABV. Uh, vegan, organic, they got all this stuff going for it. Um, so anyways, here's the, uh, here's the can here. Just like the other, it's kind of like a frosted finish. Nice design, kind of a cool logo here. Organic super grain alcohol, as it says here. I uh, did want to comment, briefly said something about it um, on the first one with the, with the tangerine. These are considered like a premium hard seltzer, um, this, this brand, Crook, Crook & Marker where a traditional 12 pack of say Truly or White Claw, any of those might go anywhere between no less than maybe say 15 for a 12 pack, uh, but in corner stores, package stores, bodegas, whatever you wanna call them, wherever you're watching from, uh, they can go anywhere from like 15 to 20. I got these at uh, Target and they were 15, so it's like the cheapest you're gonna find it, right, at a, at a Target. Um, and it, fit, it was 15 for the eight pack, so essentially, if this were in a 12 pack, you'd expect it to be more than like 20 bucks. Um, so anyways, with, with that being said, right, you wanna kinda get your, the bang, uh, bang for your buck. So this is, uh, this is it again here. It says our base brew organic alcohol is carefully crafted using quinoa, amaranth, millet, and cassava root. Uh, it's a modern twist on ancient grains. So you can enjoy, enjoy infinite flavor with zero guilt. I don't know about that last sentence, uh, but nonetheless, gonna get going with it here. Decent, uh, it's good. Again, kind of like the tangerine, it's almost like a soda taste to it, uh, a soda taste to it. Not as tart as I might like in a flavor such as grapefruit. Right? Think about eating a grapefruit, even all this like citrus in general. I mean, that's like right up there with like lemon, if not more. Um, so, anyways, it's good. It's good. Bringing out our trusty, trusty boy. Cup of ice. Slight coloration to this one. Not a surprise this time. My eyes didn't light up as they did on the first Crooked Marker review with the Tangerine. I did not expect, I had never in my life seen a hard seltzer that was not clear. Um, so anyways, I uh, kind of expected this one to have a coloration to it since the Tangerine was, was like almost a dark orange uh, to it. So this is a slight pink hue to it. Uh, anyways, this is it. We're gonna go with the cup of ice. It's absolutely delicious. It's just so drinkable, as was the tangerine. Again, the only downside of all these cricket markers is the 4% ABV. And it's a crying shame, dude. Because, I mean, if this comes in at five, this would be the way to go. Um, but in, anyways, it's, it's still very tasty. I'm not gonna give it, I think it was like a high eight on the tangerine. This one's gonna go, this one's gonna go an 8.5, simply because the flavor is grapefruit and it's a little too sweet. It's not as tart as you'd expect on it. So we're gonna go 8.5, still a great score. Um, so that's it, 8.5 on the Crook and Marker grapefruit. Thanks all for watching as always. Have yourself a lovely, bubbly life day.